More than 15 years when the royal family had just arrived. What? Oh snap, look at young Edward and he got that young glade and everything too. At the time, Edward had left his job as an investigator due to the police being corrupted and manipulated by the, uh, you know, royal family and stuff. With their arrival, crime cases increased considerably and as the police, I was going to say as the policy, only acted on the orders of the <laughs> royal family. Yo, you see, so this is like some type of ditty shit because I feel like, you know, up in New York, the, um, the NYPD were affiliated with Diddy and shit like that and you y'all do y'all also feel that too or is it just me let me stop talking before I get myself clapped I'm not gonna lie but so people stop taking care uh wait hold on what I'm reading this shit all wrong my bad y'all so people stop taking care of the real problems that arose in the region so this nigga decided that he wanted to be a vigilante no never mind Edward actually loved helping people doing good and fighting for what the royal family didn't do what a real nigga bro it seems like it's time that we retire galley hey he look cool as fuck wait he kind of looks the same <laughs> compared he all all that's different right now is that he just have a hat uh we'll see what my next goal in not um we'll see what my next goal will be in this life what will i do now will you follow me on my new journey friend is it a shiny galley okay i mean the way that bit jumped up like some type of mario shit i feel him thank you friend over time the work piling and seeing that many of those cases were caused by the royal family he had no choice but to leave damn so what made him like go back and fight henry and shit oh that's when he opened up his little floral place and that's how he decided to open up his own business the flower shop of lugano city i don't know why i said that bitch like that my fault uh <laughs> He decided to live a simpler life without complications and shit like that and without having other people and without having other people's problems weighing him down. The Stone's daughter would stop by the flower shop to challenge Edward to a battle as her uncle Sidney, a retired Hoenn Elite 4 member, had had some encounters with Edward in the past. Edward in the past? Who the fuck is Edward? Hey dude, you promised- oh so she's the young Stone's daughter. Oh Steven Stone! That makes sense. I've told you a thousand times not to call me that. My name is Edward. <laughs> that name isn't too. That name is too serious. Dude is more fun. But don't change the subject, little nigga. I want to battle you. My uncle Sidney told me that you're even stronger than him. I'm sorry, Angie, but I don't want to keep battling. That shit. I'm retired, man. You see the floral shop right next to me. You see all the leaves falling and shit. If you don't want to fight me, at least let's go beat up the criminals like you used to do. I don't think it's worth it anymore, Angie. I'm not a hero or anything like that. The royal family has the whole police force under their control. To them, I'm just an old man who got screwed over in his job. You should have kept your mouth shut, Sim. Then we'll face them too. What? I'll hit them on the head with my bass guitar. Is it bass or bass? Besides, I'm stronger now. Even my talk soul is about to evolve. How'd she know that? How does the AI NPC knows that their Pokemon is soon about to hit the level that it needs to evolve? That's crazy to me. I'm glad you're getting strong, dear. But what you're proposing is impossible. You're so boring, Gramps. <laughs> now you're calling me Gramps? I'm saying this for your own good. I don't want anything to happen to Sydney's niece. At least I'll keep going to your concerts, okay? <laughs> If you think you're going to make me happy with that, you're mistaken. Are you really okay with all this? What do you mean? I've never seen you so discouraged. You don't want anything. You don't want anything. You feel like everything's hopeless. I don't think you really want to end your... I don't think you really want to end your story this way and just dedicate yourself to watering flowers for the rest of your life, my nigga. I can see it in your dead eyes, bro. Your dead beady eyes. Are you really happy with this? Yeah, he, his ass really do got beady eyes. I don't know how she can see that shit in his eyes because he got like his front hair is like covering up his shit. But she do got, it looked like she got hawk eyes. So I could tell that she can tell that nigga's emotions even from behind his goddamn uh, hair. What the fuck? Hold up. Excuse me. Are you Edward, the famous detective or former famous? <laughs> oh, shit. Is that our queen? 
Y- yes, I'm Edward. W- w- what can I do for you, Your Majesty? Please, don't call me Your Majesty. Damn, who's this? Oh, wait, this Lilith mom. <laughs> call me Lena. Oh, uh-huh. what? By your name? Excuse us. I would like to be alone with this good man. You can return to the palace. <laughs> what did you say? Are you sure? I'll take y'all asses on for out. If something happened to you, I don't think Henry would care that much, to be honest. Anyway, nothing will happen to me. I'll be safer with this man. At your service, your majesty. Don't you dare. Yeah, yeah, take y'all asses on. But the old man is totally harmless. Excuse me. Excuse my men and women. <laughs> They're just looking out for my safety. So, are you Edward, the famous detective? Yes, well, you know, I was a long time ago. I don't do that shit no more. I'm retired. So anything you got going on with your husband, I ain't got shit to do with it. Uh, oh, I see. Your work has been hampered by Henry's decisions. That man always does the things the wrong way. Just like the reader who said my fucking like whole line the wrong way. I apologize from the bottom, from the bottom of my heart. You were only doing good for the people and my family ended up complicating your work. It's our fault that everything got turned upside down. Man, she really hate that nigga Henry, bro. D- don't worry, really. <laughs> you don't have to apologize to me, miss. My life is different now. <laughs> Look at it. You know that shit's not real. By the way, what's with the apron? Are you the owner of this flower shop? Hey, it got the beautiful music playing in the background. Ah, yes. That's right. I opened it recently. Haha. <laughs> I love flowers, and so does my daughter. Oh, shit. Although, did you really go from detective to florist? <laughs> Are you laughing at me? Excuse my boldness, but that's really cute. Aw. She likes this nigga, bro. What? That apron looks good on you, Mr. Edward. Wait, what? And he's flustered. What's wrong with me? I can't find the right words. I think I'm starting to smell something in the air. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Gallade is acting. <laughs> Are you okay, Mr. Red? You're looking a little red. Wait, Edward? My bad. It must be the temperature. That's it. You know, a caviar is really hot. <laughs> uh, wait, what the hell? Oh, shit. Wait, what? Vor. <laughs> what? That big guy, he got a little dumb too. Okay. It's strange. My Gardevoir, it's strange for my Gardevoir to come out of its Pokeball by itself. She's usually very shy. But it seems she wanted to meet your Pokemon. I see. You have a beautiful Gardevoir, if I may say so myself. Aw, they're in love with each other. Oh my goodness, beautiful love. By the way, do you think I could stop by your flower shop sometime? For sure. What? You ain't even gotta ask me twice, bitch. You'll be always welcome, miss. And so it was that Edward and Akebia. <laughs> and so it was that Edward and Lena, the queen of Akebia, began to get to know each other. Damn, that girl trifling. Since that day, Lena used to come. Lena used to come to the flower shop to spend the morning with Edward and her and his Pokemon. Oh wait, hold on, who's that right there? In the black with the Roserade. Come on, Lilith, say hello to the, um Mr. Edward. Good morning, dude. <laughs> no way, that's crazy. <laughs> oh shit! Wait, hold on. Do you think we could go together? What's going on here? T- together. I- if it's okay with you, of course. Oh damn, she's really in love with this nigga. Lilith, Mr. Edward will take us to see some flowers and poplars. Wee! I want to go. I want to go. Mr. Edward, do you think we can meet on Sunday? I, of course, what? But I have to warn you, it's a rather long trip. We'll have to climb all the way to the top. Don't worry, we love long trips. See you then, Mr. Edward. Come on, Lilith. We have to prepare things for this Sunday. We're going on a picnic. Let's go. Oh, shit. Gardevoir is in love, too. Look at Gardevoir. We got Gallade over here. He working and shit. Were he in the middle of the job? What? Okay. Good love, bro. Good love. Wait, what the hell? No, not at all. It's not a date. 
<laughs> you always get so nervous when it comes to her. I've never seen you like this. I guess this is what they call love. So many people. Me and love. D don't be silly. Willie, I've never thought about such things. I've always been a lone wolf. <laughs> Besides, that woman is married, Angie. Married? So what? Do you need to be married to be in love with someone? Because I think the lady likes you. You, macho man. You. That's enough, Angie. Don't say stuff like that around here. You want to get me killed, bit? The king's guards could be anywhere over here. Oh, she has a concert. She, um, besides, I'd be a third wheel. It's your date, not mine, nigga. I, hey, don't leave me alone. She's going to have Lilith with her. And that girl's super hyper. Give me a hand, please. That nigga, he jumped the whole goddamn bar. What? The count at me. Anyway, I'll think about it. All right, cool, cool, cool. Oh, shit, look, he got his whole Lapras. Oi, that's cool. Let's go. Get on. Lapras is waiting for you. God damn, Lapras, you too hype. After crossing Retreat Park Cave, Edward, Lena, Lilith, and Angie's first adventure began. Nice, nice. Name the floral pass. Cool. Those are all Alamos. Look, mommy, look. We're in Floral Pass, a secret place that's accessible only to those who manage to cross Retreat Park Cave. Sometimes you can find strong trainers and people who and people who come to explore the area. Also, they say that if you're lucky, you might see a legendary Pokemon flying in the skies. I would love to see it. I'm sure it's beautiful. And Lilith is out of there. It's dangerous. Come on. Angie, wait, hold on. Please, bro. Let's go find them. Wait, hold on. So, I feel like I knew it. Somebody's following us. Looks like I was right to spy on that floor. It's conversations. But who the hell is that man? And why is Lena meeting with him? It doesn't matter. I need to get rid of her somehow. You have a gift waiting for her on the hillside. What the fu- Oh, wait. I feel like I know who that is. Oh, shit. We get to play as Edward. What? What? We're playing as Edward. Oh, snap. That's what's up. Hold up. What they got going on? Ed. What's the word, boy? He got the good team, my nigga. What the fuck? Oh, that was his Roserade. He ain't got that weeping bell? Okay, Ed. I see him with the Gallade. What the fuck? All right, hold on. So let's keep going. So I feel like I know who that chick is. It's um that one dumb, the the bitch who's like the king's like wife right now. I forgot what's her face. Damn. So she really set this um Lena chick up, and she a trainer too. Oh, bitch. What am I talking about? And she a trainer too. Of course she's a fucking trainer, nigga. Uh, let's do this and then this. See if that does anything. Oh shit. Mega evolution. Am I? Yeah, chill out, bro. Chill out. Come on, baby girl. Thank you. Uh yo, can we like, you know, hit this bitch? Beam! That does nothing to this nigga. Wow. Really? I'm over here embarrassing this nigga, bro. Baby girl, I'm not gonna lie, you could have really did that before doing calm mine and shit, but hey. That's you, that's you. I'm not gonna say nothing. Whoa. What's good with this Charizard, man? Hold up. Baby girl, please heal my Pokemon. How you doing? We gotta find out who that... I mean, it's not even gonna matter. Queen Lena is gonna fucking probably die anyways. Wait, I did a whole circle. Oops. Okay, so I guess I can't use Surf. Oh, well, I, I guess I'm coming back over here. If anything, he's back to life, right? Yeah, he is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so I guess I'm coming back over here Uh, when I play, you know, the original character. The former champion of Akebia, please let me test your strength. What are you doing here, Jit? You you see I'm with Shorty, bro, and you over here with your nerd ass trying to do... Man, come on, bro. You can't be serious, bro. Please, baby, go tell me you know a good, uh, what you gonna call it? Huh. Fairy moves? These are all dragon types. Please, come on. Please know something good. She really gonna do that? All right, cool. Bet, bet, bet. All right, you... Oh, you know what? You, I can fuck with. Hold on. Chill. Chill. Woo. Okay, easies. 
You're not a dragon. How do, how do you miss, bruh? Please, take care of her. I mean him. Okay, that bitch missed. Why would you psychic it, dickhead? You could have used the other shit. Baby girl, please don't kill Gyarados. Please focus on King Jr. That nigga got two times the dragon's dance. Why would you do that? Lucky this shit. What? She, I think she cooked this, bro. Oh, wait, hold on. No, never mind. The man's a dickhead. I'm trying to test my skills and he's doing shit like this, bro. I will never fight you again, bro. I expected no less. Dick eater, get out of my face. Lucky I ain't mega evolve on his ass. Let's just fucking go climb up here. Okay, I can't seem to use that right now. Floral Pass. What a great, beautiful place a floral pass could be. Is this still Floral Pass or is this like what? Mountainside Pass? Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. Uh, I think I can do this. Hold on, chill. Yo, I gotta switch this nigga out, bro, because I feel like they got. Yeah, they done sent out two motherfuckers that can easily counter this nigga, bro. Or that he can't really do shit. There's no point in having this dickhead out. Look, this nigga's cooked. It's always like this whenever I'm playing somebody else. They, like. Let me see, bro. Let me just switch up to this dude. This shorty right here, please. Whoa, why would you do that, baby girl? That swagger sounded fucking crazy. Wait, hold on. That didn't do shit to him? Maybe Thunder would have probably did something better. Bing, nigga. You should have fucking. You should have focused me. All right. Goodbye, goodbye. All right, let's see what they got going on over here. Oh, well. Never mind. They got a crash. All right, so apparently I don't think we're supposed to be getting anything from that specific area. So I guess we don't go over there or I guess we don't jump that ledge. So we're down over here and I'm not going to lie to y'all. When I was like redoing that shit and refighting them hoes, bro, that shit was so Lord help. Lord had to help me, bro. Because why are these dickheads using like bug moves on this chick? They do realize that she is uh, a fairy type as well, right? But that's besides the point. They still gonna kill us. They gonna disregard me. I'm just gonna do this nice little ooh, wow. Ice beam right over here. Get you the fuck out of there. Beam into the 62. Nice. Everybody's leveling up. That bit ate something. Cool, cool, cool. Swana. Didn't that bitch use U-turn? What the fuck is going on here? Alright, whatever. Chill out, man. Damn, you buggy ass Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, move the fuck out my way. Uh, what's going on here? Everybody sleeping and shit? Cool, cool, cool. I feel like if I jump this ledge right here, bro, I'm gonna crash. Can you see? Okay, never mind. I'm chilling. What the fuck? Yo, are you a trainer? Yeah, eat a dick, bro. I'm so tired of you dumbass dragon tamers. But we got the um the R the Aura Guardian Zhang Chao niggas over here too, so. It's a win-win situation. <clears throat> Excuse me, brothers. Y'all going to kill Lacris. Right, yeah, get Medicham the fuck up out of here. Easy. Whoa, what's this? Dancing ass nigga. Mega Evolution. Beam. Chill out. Goodbye, goodbye. Good friend, goodbye. Yo, whoa. Hold up. Why would you do that? Uh, fuck it. Zen headbutt this nigga. Get him, up, get him up out of here. I don't care about Quack, Quibbs, Bell, whatever the fuck that bitch name is. You can do all that all you want, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Fighting ass, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not trying to hear all that Donald Duck squeeching that you doing. Giovanni, man. Move, bro. Over here investigating this shit. Can you take your flat cap hat, hat ass up? Hat ass up on somewhere? Oh shit, I went the wrong way. Oh shit, I did not see this like um, PewDiePie bridge right here. If you think I'm weak because I'm a kid, now you'll see. Okay, buddy. Prove me wrong, nigga. Little nigga. Shrimp ass nigga. I bet probably can't prove me wrong. Actually, cannot because I could just do this. Ah, fool. Fools, bro. Y'all looking into the wrong nigga. Yo, chill, 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 chill. 
Oops, killed that bitch by accident. My bad, my bad. I'll take that L. Yo, watch out, bro. Dumbass. How you missed that? Bitch, come on, please. What are you doing? I been sacrificed or mine? Two cannon. Chill out, bro. Why your um why your beak doing that? Let me see. Your beak doing what? Changing colors and shit? What the fuck? This shit heating up already? That bit just came out. How you missed that, bro? I know it's strange for a water type Pokemon such as yourself to even know thunder, but how do you miss it? I was about to say, how did this like fucking like flying bird toucan? Nigga, like, no, Thundershock, but it was the other dickhead. Ooh, almost fed that boy pure lightning. He's a little thug that decided to challenge me. <sighs> like these two monkeys right over here. And I can't get away, bro. Why the fuck can I not get away? Please. Enlighten me, nigga. Hold on, let me bring my other nigga out, bro. Enlighten me why I can't get away, Heracross. Since you wanted to show something off. And fucking enlighten me. Yeah, that's what you want to do? Enlighten me more, nigga. Stupid bitch. Fuck out my face, man. Like, stop holding people hostage. Nigga, if I don't want to fight, I don't want to fight. What is this? I gotta keep saving because you never know when you hit one of these spots and this shit's gonna fucking like crash on you. Oh, we go up here. Woo! Oh, shit. I'm so scared. Mommy! Don't worry. I'm here. Everything will be fine. Or at least that's what I like to say. That Pokemon wiped out my entire team. Cool. What's going on? Mommy, mommy. Are you okay, darling? Nothing happened to you, right, little one? Hey, what about me? I'm the one tanking the situation. It, it's Raikou, a legendary Pokemon. Raikou? Is that the Pokemon you were talking about earlier? Not at all. This is not it. In fact, Raikou shouldn't even be here. This isn't this isn't its um this isn't its habitat. Cool. Strange. Something is wrong with his Raikou. Raikou can be aggressive with strangers who enter its territory, but this isn't the case. And it's not it's not natural either. Something is definitely happening to it. I don't care. You better not have done anything to my daughter, Raikou. Hey, don't make it angrier than it already is. Oh, shit, that nigga's pissed, man. It noticed something. Careful, Lena. Get out of here. Edward! Mr. Edward, Mr. Edward! D dude Gramps, are you okay? This is bad, he's bleeding. Edward, let me heal you. Oh shit, Raikou is still pissed. You'll pay for touching my old man, Raikou. Stay back, I'll handle this. Chill, chill, chill. It doesn't matter, Raikou isn't doing this on his own free will, I'm sure. I'm the only one who can calm it. Stay back. Now! There we go. Come on, Raikou. Face me, little nigga. Fuck my life. Raikou, please. Let me just catch you off rip. Hey, hey, hey. I bet level 70, bro. I bet level 70, my nigga. Surf on his ass, bro. Chill, chill, chill. Beam. Surf his ass, boy. Hold up. Alright, he's definitely gonna kill you right here though. Chill. Oh, not really. He's a dickhead, bro. Easy. Surf on his ass, boy. I mean, well, it's ass, you feel me? <laughs> Wait, what? Yo, he's playing like it's playing like a dickhead right now, bro. Hold up, chill, chill, chill. It could have easily killed me. I might have just spam surf. Yeah. You better heal yourself. You better use that electricity. Did they use rain dance? What's wrong with this nigga? Yo, if you don't get the fight. This nigga could have easily killed. I'm not even gonna question it, bro. You did it, Edward. It seems like it's calmer now. Right, cool. You feel better now, right, cool? Cool. Don't worry, it's just a scratch. Right. You weren't aware of what was happening, so don't feel bad about it. <laughs> what do you mean it's just a scratch? I have to heal that wound right now. We need to get you home and heal that wound as possible. 
There's no need to cut our shit. Uh, there's no need to cut our trip short just because of a you know small scratch. Now our journey will be even more fun. Will you accompany us to the top, Raikou? Of course. And so our friends managed to climb the floral summit, and Edward made a new friend. Oh shit! Just by that. It really was an incredible day. Thank you for you for what you've done for us. This trip wouldn't have been possible without you. On the contrary, it's a long it's been a long time since I had so much fun. It's thanks to you for that real adventure. My daughter also had a great time. Where is she? She's sleeping on Raikou. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. You healed it wonderfully. Damn, she really healed that shit up. And she's smiling or blushing or you know, tomato tomato, nigga. He was real brave for facing that Raikou, though. I'm not gonna lie. I bet jumped in front of a goddamn raging Raikou, bitch. I bet could have hit him with a fucking thunder paw. I don't want you to see me as the queen of Akebia. I just want to be Lena to you. Oh, that's so adorable. You seem like a brilliant person, Lena. That says a lot about you. Even so, don't you think it could be harmful if they find out you're meeting with me? Henry already knows that I'm trying to connect with people of this country, and he doesn't like it one bit. No, it's not fair. Why did you marry Henry, and why did you end up coming down from Celestia, if I may ask? They forced me to marry him at a very young age. Forced! In Celestia, it's mandatory that the person... It's mandatory to marry the person the family kings desire. It's all the interests between dynasties and to avoid conflicts with other families. That's why we both carry Armstrong in our surnames. Wait, I don't know the details, but the King of Celestia selected the weakest family in the kingdom to do his dirty work. He forced us to conquer Akebia and collect taxes from all the inhabitants of the country. He wanted us to send those economic benefits to the Celestial Kingdom. The fuck? It's hard for me to imagine that you're the weakest amongst the heavens. What? We're just second rate to them. That's why Henry is always in a bad mood. Henry felt humiliated when he had to touch the ground, so he decided he, that if he couldn't rule the heavens, he would rule the he would be the ruler of Akebia. What the fuck? That's not fair. You deserve to be freer than anyone. I know it sounds selfish on my part, but we would like to spend more time with you, Edward. Wherever you see her, Lilith, Lilith is a very strong girl. That's due to the Armstrong blood running through her veins. However, she hates fighting with others unless it's necessary. Henry forces her to train almost every day and she really suffers because of it. Today, for the first time in a long time, I saw her enjoy herself like the child she is. I almost cried tears of joy seeing her happy. I'll do my best to keep you happy. From that moment on, Edward, Lena, and Lilith saw each other daily and spent their time together like a real family. So wait, the chick that did that shit, so what she left was that Raikou? Hey, go Angie, you play great. Yeah, that same spot? Your niece is a beast, Sydney. She's learned from the best that runs in the family, my nigga. I guess that makes sense. Why don't you get up and play too? Uh, if I messed up. I'm sorry, Lena. No, no, quite the opposite. I I wanted to give you something to thank you for everything that you've done for me. What? What's this? Oh, a gift? It's huge. What the heck is inside of it? Aren't you going to open it? Uh, of course. Thank you very much. <gasps> oh, shit. It's a hat. Well, in the end, you got that scar on your forehead because of me. If you ever pull your pull back your bangs, the scar will be visible. May, maybe a hat will cover it. I understand now. Damn. Try it on. I'm sure it'll look great on you. That's why he wears the hat. Oh shit. Look, it's the signature hat, boy. I see him. I see you. Edward, what? It's like an Edward Scissorhand moment, I think. Wait, she, she wants to stop by her, his house? Oh, shit. They feel unwell. Come on, let's go. Wait, what the hell? 
This bitch is literally stalking her. That was the man who managed to break my control over Raikou. Oh my. He's much stronger than I thought. If I want to get rid of Lina, I have to take that old man's life first. Who the fuck is this?